In this video, we're learning about touch-up paint for minor scratches and exposed or cut edges, including paint pens and spray paint cans. If there's a small surface scratch on a panel or flashing that doesn't gouge the metal, that's an opportunity to use touch-up paint to cover that up. A bigger scratch that gouges the metal can cause roof failure, and you're gonna need to explore different repair options for that. You can see touch-up paint used on cut edges of panels as well to help prevent edge creep corrosion, especially on galvanized or galvalume steel substrates. In this video, we're looking at touch-up paint that comes in a paint pen form like this, and aerosol spray cans like this. These products are air dry versions of the paint that's baked onto the metal roofing coil and sheet, so they will not last as long and they'll fade and age at a different rate than the rest of the roof, which is another reason why touch up paint should be only used for very small areas. Paint pens are available in Sheffield Metals colors to match whatever roof color you have. They should be stored horizontally, shaken well before each use, and before the first time you use it, press the felt tip in and out repeatedly on some test material like cardboard to get the paint flowing. Make sure the area you're applying it to is clean and dry. Apply the paint lightly to the metal and wipe off the excess with a soft cloth if needed. You can repeat the process if you need more color and then allow it to dry and set. There are also aerosol spray cans that you can use for slightly larger touch-ups that a paint pen can't handle, also available in Sheffield Metals colors. You don't wanna use something like this on whole sections or big spots on panels or flashings, only for touch-ups. And remember, because it fades at a different rate than the baked on paint on the metal itself, it will be more noticeable the bigger the area, so use it sparingly. When using this product, make sure the surface is prepped by cleaning off dust, dirt, wax, grease, and loose paint. Shake the can for at least one minute and shake again every one to two minutes of application. Hold the container about six to eight inches from the surface to be sprayed and move back and forth. It's better to apply two thin coats rather than one heavier coat. The paint shouldn't run or sag because that's an indication that it's being applied too heavily. Also, make sure there's adequate ventilation when you're using this product and that you follow all proper safety measures outlined on the label. It's worth mentioning that you shouldn't go to your local Home Depot or paint store and try to color match paint to touch up your roof. These touch up paint products that we've discussed are loaded with specially formulated paint for this exact application. Also, if you have an older roof that is already faded and you wanna to touch up an area, you could submit a new color standard to your manufacturer to get a custom matched paint pen. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessories series. Comment down below with any questions, and as always, I'm Fab Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.